in the book Divrei Hayamim, the last book in the 24 books of, of the Bible. So over there it's written that the name Piton is the grandchild of Yonatan ben Shaul. In Pakistan, in an area between Pashawar in Pakistan, to a place that is called Jalal Abad, there are the Patanim, and they are the children of that person named Piton. And they have few Jewish customs. On their clothes, they have like four wings. Two from inside, close to the chest, and two to their backs. And it looks like a small talit. And they're putting white strings, too, in every one of those wings. And they have side curls. And in the eve of Shabbat, the elder women of the tribe are lighting candles in the corner of the room. Between the people who lives in that tribe, you have people who call themselves, themselves Afriti. And who are they? They are people who claim to be from the tribe of Ephraim. Afriti from the tribe of Ephraim. And also they have people that call themselves Gadji, named the, under after the name of the tribe of Gad. Levani, they have different group of people that relate themselves to the tribe of Levi, and they're called Levani. Another tribe is calling themselves Shafa Mazhav, means um, religion in bounty. And we don't know the meaning of that, what's the source of it, but that's how they call themselves. Another tribe is calling themselves themselves Shimoni, from the tribe Shimon. And they live between the city of Maimana and Shabarkan, between Okacha and the city Mazar. And over there, people live in tents, and they had one room that was closed, and people were afraid to enter to that room. And one time, a Jewish person went through their village and asked them if they are willing to allow him to open the door. And they told him that if he is not scared to enter to that room, so he can do that. But they are afraid to. And he went in and he found a whole Bible written on on a cloth, on leather, like the Jewish people. So they had an old ancient Sefer Torah, a Bible, that was written on cloth, on, on leather. A young person came to me and told me that around 30,000 Jewish spirits, I mean Jewish souls, people, lives close to the city Habat Abad, that is close to Ahur and Pashawar. Today it's called Pakistan. And in Friday afternoon, they're closing the gates of their neighborhoods, and in Saturday, they rest and they don't work. When they have arguments between them, so elder people of their community are meeting on Saturday afternoon, in the large, like they have a yard, open yard over there. It's like a Jewish court. It's, it's like, it's a testament that is showing that they have some kind of Jewish court. And they have a room that its door, its door is closed on lock. And people are afraid to open that door. And everyone is kissing that door and goes to his home. So it's like, it reminds of, of the Heichal, the, the, the ark for Sefer Torah, that people are coming and kissing it and going home, and they're afraid to open the door. No one knows what there is inside. And the women um, that uh, that ha that that um, in those days they have period. So if a man was coming close to a woman with period, so he will. Um, so in Shabbat, he will need to be separated from the public and to and to be like isolated. In the eve of Shabbat, they're lighting candles, and they're not getting married with people from different villages that are not from the same tribe. 
they have a special cemetery that all the dead people of their tribe they bury only there and they're putting in the grave their dead when their heads are to the east and their legs are to the west like the Jewish people so they have that tradition you see você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e Shalom!